Okay, so let's talk cell phone mounts. If you're anything like me, over the years, you've had suction cups, adhesive pads, maybe that clever like non-slip pad or you can just set your phone on the dash. Um, but if you're anything like me, you've also been unhappy with all of those for one reason or another. I hate having a suction cup on my window obscuring my view or falling down when it's hot. I hate the idea of putting a, a double-sided stick thing on my dash. Um, it's difficult to remove if I want to sell it. I can't move it. Um, Non-slip thing is great if all you're doing is commuting and you don't need to see your phone. Um, so for one reason or another, all of the, oh, let's not forget about the vent clips. I've had a number of those and can't find one that stays in the same position. I can't put my, hand, my phone in with one hand. Um, so for all those reasons, I wanted to come up with a more secure solution. And so very similar to the way that we came up with the bedside rack system, which is essentially a universal mounting panel, we came up with what we call the dash mount. Now what I'm showing you here, this is the tray out of an F-150 or a Raptor or a Super Duty um, that's it's up in the dash, right? And what we've mounted in this tray is a small steel bracket with a series of slots here. These slots accommodate an AMPS mounting pattern, as well as any other. You see how I'm using a RAM mounts attachment here, where you can attach a ball and socket style mount um, along with whatever you choose to hold your device with, whether it's your phone, uh, GPS, radar detector, dash cam, um, iPads. A lot of guys are using those for navigation now. Um, and it allows you to mount it in such a way that you can reconfigure it but it's also rigidly attached to your vehicle. So um, in the case of this one, we've also got a, a reinforcement plate underneath because I know we've got some Raptor guys really uh, giving these a beating. Um, so every one of these looks a little bit different depending again on the make and model. This particular one for the Ford requires drilling four holes just in this tray and then uh, bolting the mount to it. So installation is usually very straightforward. Uh, this is a really a, a product that is really caught on. Everybody that is kind of a built right type is always looking for a better way to mount their gear, their devices, um, and this seems to answer that. So we are continually coming out with new vehicle fitments. Um, we're supporting all of the new Fords right now. Working on Ram and GM, uh, Jeep Gladiator and JK, JL, excuse me. Uh, Toyota, Tacoma, and Tundra are coming soon. So um, if you're looking for a more secure way to mount your device, whether it's off-road, on the job site, just commuting like a regular person, um, our dash mount product line might be the answer for you.